So today is going to be the uh, the field, hopefully the field behind the putt-putt golf uh, location, Carter's Valley. We're going to check out the property today, do some looking around, do some poking around. We'll be careful, we'll take it slow, and we'll see what we see, so let's get going. Yeah, that's backyards too. We're going to need a different approach. That's where we need to go. Right, look at it. And it is thick as hell. Well, there's no way to even there is another option. The Oak Hill Funeral and Cremation Services go to the end of the property that's for sale. Wow, it's blocked off, Jen, with a whole bunch of wood. See where people walk? There's a trail. I know. Getting, getting through here would take about 30, about half an hour. And then we have a whole field to go through, so, hey, you know, while we're here, we should take a look around. Things sticking out? Yeah. It's like the car, and then there's that. This isn't a crime scene. Yeah. This is a mound of dirt with a metal thing sticking out. And if we report this, they're going to be like, that's great, you found a pile of dirt with a metal thing sticking out. They're not going to take it seriously. If I've disturbed anything, I'll answer for it, but at least someone, some family will get some resolution if we... We'll take good pictures. I like these. Yeah, yes, there you go. It's exactly what it is. All right, are you prepared for uh, trying to get a feel for Carver's Valley, Carter's Valley? You can get food before. Whew. All right. <sighs> the reason I want to do Carter's Valley is because mm -hmm. that that area is very relevant to the Layla Santanello case. Yeah. I know is there going to be some mud there for you to dig through? You love the fact that you got me down. <laughs> You love the fact that you got me down in the mud, don't you? Yeah, I put that knife there. We're both covered in mud, <laughs> I know. so. Me, you yeah, Don't you. say you put that knife there. If somebody eventually oh. finds a body there, you just implicated yourself. Well, you can, you can edit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. You, On the record, I did not. Thank you. I was just going to say you should really say the truth. On the record, I did not put that knife okay. there. I did not see you until you called me over, so oh. that's a good point. Mm -hmm. Um... Car Carter's Carter's Valley is relevant to the case, but I I don't even with the other information I have I don't know specifically where, and that's a huge area. So what I would like us okay. to do today is use your intuition Take of drive by. where bad things happened, and I will go to try to find remote places. Let me know how you feel. Okay. Let me know how the place is like vibing to you and if okay. there are any that you're like okay this is a bad place i want to leave i'm going to mark it on my list please don't ask me how i feel every two seconds. i won't keep asking how you feel i'm gonna say i'm gonna change it to how do you vibe but then you'll be made fun of eventually for that so i'll have to change it but for now oh, i thought they were making fun of you yeah <laughs> i mean i don't care if they're making fun of me they people always make fun of me because <laughs> it's, e it's easy to do <laughs> you're not supposed to encourage it all right, so you wanted to eat first? Please. Starving. Thank you. 
So the idea here is to notice how the mountains up ahead, we just passed through a set of kind of smaller mountains that separate right. this area from the rest of Kingsport, which is kind of the Lynn Garden area. And see the mountains up ahead? There's like a yes. valley right between, you can literally see the valley, yeah. right? That's so this area is this side of this mountain range. Okay. We'll, we'll go all the way through, but the starting point is, this is actually a place that a, I think it's this a medium mentioned this spot. Okay. Um, very not well known. Um, I don't know if she has any success rate or anything uh -huh. like that, but I figured I'd take you here. I should have told you that. <laughs> anyway, I'll take you to see how you feel through the area, okay. how you vibe through this area, okay. and just let me know. Okay. So to start thinking, start kind of- Start thinking. <laughs> start doing whatever your thing is you, well, I guess you just stay open, don't you? Yep. Starting like right now. Okay. I want to go up in there. I don't know if that's their property like or fun. if it's abandoned, but there's a whole series of trails up in there. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess not. I can't go there, but I'm going to go. So you got nothing mm -hmm. over there, from what I can tell. Uh, we're going to go back through this side of the valley. Is this near where she lives? No, this is, these are all potential get rid of things, locations. All right. And I'll tell you, in this area, by the way, there was a body found in 2010, I think it was, a, a dismembered body. Oh, right. It was a girl that got murdered. Um, and her body was found in an area like this, in the mountains, like <sighs> behind someone's house deep in the mountains. Okay. And so that was a potential, like, you know, dumping mm -hmm. place for criminals, maybe. But I don't know. I haven't figured out where. Like I haven't found exactly where that is yet. So you said um, people go fast on this road, so I'm hoping. Right. So you said up on the hill? Yeah. There's a brick something? No, it's, no, it's a trailer park. Trailer park. Where the power lines are? Oh, I see what you're talking about. Mm. I, I mean, not because it's a No, it's okay, park. but I just, any place like that, I'm going to mark on my mark on my map. Mm -hmm. oh, seems a little sketchy to me. Oh yeah, right on the hillside. Mm -hmm. I mean, you never know, you could, you could be uh, sensing just the bad things that happen at trailer parks. Right. <laughs> this looks like Sunnyvale. I was thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because it's a trailer park. It's just Definitely looks like Sunnyvale. Yeah, no, it's... Yep. How was your sandwich?
Now it's... Okay. I still might get ice cream. Can later. you... Any place in particular? Like the back side? House on the hill? It'll be easier when we walk. Drive that down. I'm going to turn around. Oh, wait. This is a... Does this loop around? This is a dead end. around. God, please tell me it loops around. Yeah, it does. Any particular trailer or property? I'm trying, right? Okay. I'm need too much trash. <laughs> Good way to get trapped. Yeah, okay. I wonder if they're selling that boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to ask. Nah. Anyway, it looks like a piece of junk. All right, back to the main road. Okay. You guys, so you don't, you don't think? It, I don't know if it was the trailer park, but I'm getting a feeling that it's a, an important. Thing, like it would be a trailer park but I also want to say it's not because of my preconceived ideas of the who trailer. lives in a trailer park it's just I don't know you know what I'm trying to say, I'm say? I do um, it could be and it could just be somebody involved lives there yeah. or something like that yes. something just related to either case but I just got this feeling it was a little sketchy up there by the hill the top yeah Okay. I think we're going to be crossing into the Virginia side in a minute. Oh, really? Yeah. We're almost in Virginia. It's oh. just... This was kind of this side of Carter Valley, and then we go up over the mountains onto the other side. Really pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. Decal for your... You should get a decal for your Jeep. Holy crap. Oh, this is interesting. This is somewhat creepy. Oh, just a bit. Reminds me of a place you took me before. Sensible? Yeah. <laughs> it's a sensible part two. So anyway, I think you should get a decal for your Jeep that says Ryan finds Drew. <laughs> so I can announce, announce to everyone that I'm in the neighborhood. Yeah. Everyone. And we'll say, it'll say... Scott County. The Truth Mobile. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Isn't it mm, good? Yeah. Oh no, we're doing a poll. Should we call the Jeep the Truth Mobile? Yes. <sighs> okay, we it's are. It's like the mystery machine. Yes, it is. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> sorry. This is like an important area. I'm sorry. Uh, all the way up through. We're going all the way on the. My brain wants to make jokes when I'm nervous. Did We're going you know through the mountain passes here. Okay. Well, the, I don't like it. That's why I'm trying to use humor. To the Virginia side, and okay. it's actually pretty far. We have to go up through here. Good church down there. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of a cool road. Yeah, it is. Is that a path? Mm. Did that strike you as interesting? Just interesting or like it was interesting, but you know what I'm asking. Are we gonna do I just for... have a deep feeling about it. Thank you. Feel something now? Feel something now? Seriously, it was just interesting but not. Yes. Okay. But I agree it was interesting. That's cool. That is pretty. I'm gonna park in this school parking lot to get my new. Oh, you do that. Um, 
Yeah, no trespass of school property. Okay, I'm not gonna go on school property. This is school property. I'm going to park on the side of the public road and change my camera. So Battery. you're one wheel in the private property and one wheel out. I'm not fully on school property. Yeah. I am accidentally on trespassing purpose. my wheel. Accidentally on purpose? Oh, well, accidentally. But not my full vehicle, which means that I'm not trespassing. You're half trespassing. No, not even. It's like a sixteenth. I okay. don't know about you, uh, you doing math. <laughs> Wait, you're supposed to be an engineer. Come on now. It's only twelve minutes to go back to cross. So okay. I. Okay. This side was good to search, but it's yeah. the wrong side of the huge mountain range. You can see right there. Yeah. <coughs> we need to be on the other side. Okay. For the record, it says no trespassing on the elementary school property from dusk till dawn. Yeah. So I was officially 100% not trespassing. Okay. Gotcha. So there you go. Great. So it's 13 minutes to Weber City. We're going to cross over the mountains using the highway. My theory, by the way, if you care to hear it. They're going to tell it anyway, whether they care to hear it. True. Is that the fastest way to the remote areas on the other side on the, that mountain, huge mountain range, Yeah. is to take the interstate from that area, uh, from where the girls disappeared, uh -huh. jump on the interstate. It's like 15 minutes up the interstate to get to a whole bunch of remote areas. I see. This side of the mountain probably is another good one. You can see how remote it is, right? Yeah, it is. And there's places like the hills behind that trailer park. Yeah. So maybe this side, but I I don't know. Personally, I, because it's in Scott County also, for the reason I mentioned, it just feels like there's probably more opportunities on that side. There's also a quarry up there somewhere. Uh, which is another um, description of, you know, from a medium. Right. So, but again, we don't just look for quarries for no reason. True. So any thoughts so far about this whole theory? Well, you didn't tell me the theory. That they, that there's an overdose that happened and she was, you know, they jumped in a car with her and just took her up to the nearby remote mountains yeah. using the fastest route, which is the interstate right there. Does that make any sense? I mean, good. You watch a lot of true crime, so is that something that could happen? Has happened. She overdosed and died. They freaked out and, and went to the nearest isolated the, yeah, using the interstate. Sense. Yep. Okay.
you gotta focus. <laughs> oh wow, the views on this drive are gonna be amazing. Look at this. See, I'm hoping, I'm thinking, the mountains up there, a, a dirt road or some road that goes up in there. I do not think that these kids that were high on whatever would go very far. I think they would just go and dump her out of the car. And... We can't dump them out of a car, anything out of a car here. Well, but, right here, I just meant wherever but they But they're from here and they have family here. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to know those mountains. I guess. And they're going to know places to, you know. Right, that doesn't mean they're smart to. No, but I think it's just because they know the area and they will, they will have known that there's some dirt road somewhere, you know? Yeah, that's true. Maybe they hung out when they were in high school. Yeah. So that's what we could do. We could find out where the high school yes. hangouts are. Where the high school hangouts are, yeah. where there are known places that maybe criminals have, have dumped things in the past. Right. But this drive is honestly scouting, get you into this area, see if yeah. there's anything weird bad feeling. Yep. You can see like this area, we're very close to those tracks and there could be any roads along here that go down in there. Mostly all I'm seeing are drivers. This is the, in my opinion, this is the more beautiful side. This is so cool. Whoa. That's the quarry. Yep. Check that out. Now that would be a place to dump somebody. Yeah. Oh shoot, I can't get a shot of it. So we're out of Gate City. There's the quarry. That's so cool. I don't, it didn't look like there was, but there's gotta be, right? Yeah, because isn't that where they get rock and yeah. stuff? I'm not on, on my quarry knowledge. So that, yeah, that quarry would be a good one to, I don't know if you can get a craft on there, road. though. Uh, yeah. Huh? It's gotta be a road that machinery can go. Yeah, good point. So there's probably access. I just yeah. don't know if you're actually allowed to put a boat or something on there. Oh, you're just talking about the water. I'd like to search the water. Well, <laughs> it looked like that would work because it was like a cliff on the other side. On the other side, but there's a land side too. Where people live. Yeah.
I feel protected. I feel the opposite. Really? <laughs> I feel like it's, it protects you from everything, weather. Oh, bears would be there though. Yeah, bears are friendly. Ooh, look how pretty. Bears are fighting humans. Black bears, anyway. I still want to go pet one. <laughs> Uh, I wish I could just record all the views all the way around. Well, the ones in front are pretty good anyway. Yeah. See like that valley? Look at that. I'm telling you there are caves in there. Must be. Walkers? Yeah. We're gonna take a little ride down Walker Lane. Oh, wow. And it looks thoroughly shady to me too. with your gut today. the mountains over there that would be isolated enough yeah. they could dump it yeah. and it looks like it does not no. well it's interesting anyway mostly it's the tracks frustrating because I see one and I'm like, ooh, that goes between the mountains and it just goes to someone's house. And I don't think any of these are going to go between the mountains. Can you? That was a dirt road. I don't see it goes, yeah, it goes to all those houses. You don't think any of them are going to go between the mountains? I don't know. I bet you're wrong about that one. There are... You're wrong about everything. Yeah. 
there are uh, very often little known roads that go up through the mountains like that. Likely a hidden place along yeah. this. Yeah, they're like, we gotta get rid of this. We gotta get rid of it. It's a decent theory, or like a road like that yeah. that just goes somewhere. It's like, guys, okay, so we gotta get rid of it. We gotta get rid of it. opportunities to get to a hidden yeah. spot so it would take driving along here I can just pretending I, you're them right I can just hear their conversation in the car really yeah. I probably should have stuck to the interstate with you your feeling is that it was from this interstate somewhere I think so I think or or maybe like Stop is the Copper Creek Viaduct. Okay. I have no idea, what, no idea what it is, but uh, it sounded interesting. I saw it on the map. an opportunity, wouldn't it? True. All along here. Yeah. Oh, man. That makes sense. Wow. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. That's a fairly swift-moving creek, though. Yeah. Meaning, kayak would not be fun. No. <laughs> at all. I wouldn't think so. You, would, you need a John boat. I'm gonna go slow here. Goes all the way up there. Wow. Head. It's a nice. And it's route. isolated. This yeah. is isolated as hat. Oh, look how high up those train that those train tracks are. Train tracks? Up there. Look, is that a train? Oh wow, track? huge train truss. Yeah. Oh, that's it? amazing. This spot is surreal. Right. I see. Could have. This is right it. There. Fishing and boating access. Push. Yeah. Pushed it. Yep. I've got control around here. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. It's so isolated too. Yep. Not this spot though because well maybe this creek over here. Yeah. But I mean somewhere here. Because fishermen would be fishing all the time here. Not at night. Not at night. Good point. The only way to search this water is with a John boat. Inner tube. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at the rocks. Even a John boat. I don't, you can't take a John boat. Can't even take a John boat. Through there. Well, does it look shallow to you? It's one of the rocks right there. This may be shallow enough to use... Uh, waders. Waders. Full body. There's so much, Full though. body waders. I know. It would take a long time. And, and if anybody put anything in here, it would have drifted down. down it would have drifted. Here. Unless they weighed it down. Yeah. I just don't think they took time to think things through, <laughs> personally. Agreed. So this would be a place where... Yeah. All along here, any place along here. This spot here would be the easiest spot. Alright, so the plan is that I guess I'm going to be coming back to 
scope out areas like this one. This is one to put on the list. Yep. And then get some confirmation from people uh, from connected with the cases and see if it's even possible. Right. Family connections, places they hung out when they were younger, stuff like that. Yep. But I guess that's it for today, Sounds right? Sounds like a plan. All right, everyone. So I think that's going to do it for today. We started to check out the field. <laughs> failed although we did find it was interesting i think that thing that you metal. found yeah i mean who would think a random piece of metal sticking out of a mound i mean i i, I see why that caught your attention yeah so i it was worth checking but we only found the white rocks right <laughs> i don't know i didn't feel weird to me it didn't feel creepy or like there weren't no i, I it, what dropped, drew me to it of course was the things the, the little st uh, stone on top of the other stone and then and then I looked and I saw the knife sticking out. Yeah. That was what drew me to it. What do you think? I'm not sure. I want to get to that field or not. Now, oh yeah, like you said, research the listing maybe. Yeah, I think we should do that. And see how to actually It might actually it. tell you how to get how to get there. I think it's that path we saw but maybe with the realtor or something we could figure it out right. but um and then this section this area it, it feels exactly like i thought it would like all these opportunities for hidden spots roads and places a couple of them you felt yeah some things some i really have a feeling for what happened the aftermath of that of her oh the aftermath having you know overdosing so the emotions of the people dealing with it after. I think they're frantic. Do you, do you think... They got in the group mentality and they're frantic about it. Do you think then it was up in this area? R running away from people? I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. And it's worth searching yeah. up here. So th I think that this is going to be my focus area. And when I say area, I mean a huge area. This is just miles north of Kingsport. And miles. miles and miles of mountains and mountains, but... This is going to be the center of uh, um, searching for me, unless the family wants to do. Of course, the family may want to do um, some searches closer to Kingsport, which will support any way we can. So that may be a few of them. But mm -hmm. when I go alone, this is going to be it. Or if Jen comes with me, sometimes. Yeah. But she's tired today, and Moon has already passed tired out. Tired today? In the back seat. I, I wasn't tired all day. I'm tired. It's five o'clock. Okay. Um, so she's tired right now, and Moon has already passed out in the back seat. So we are going to head home, get something for supper maybe, and have a nice relaxing evening. We're looking forward to seeing everyone. I'm going to say tomorrow, Sunday, but by the time you see this, it's going to have already happened. We're going to have our live tomorrow. Jen's got a fun game planned. That's going to be funny. I, I find it funny. I don't know if anybody else would. We'll see. Or... uh People will know I'll by the time just say this. brush up on your serial killers. Yes. Uh, and then we'll have a conversation. I'll tell, a I've got a story I'm going to tell based on the voting, whatever people voted on for my past research. And then we're just going to have chat about whatever, um, chat with people for the rest of the evening. And that's going to be fun. So we're going to head home now, put the windows down, let the wind blow through our hair and dry <laughs> off our sweat. <laughs> And, and, that's mud, and then go home and take a shower. And get all this mud off of us from Moon, mostly. So, anyway, we will see you all later. Yep. Bye.